I'm going to go over all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff that I recently picked up. I will let you know where I found this stuff and how much it cost. Let's go for it! First up, we're going to go over the Movie Star Villains. This is a really cool box set. It came from Amazon, and it comes with this really cool box right here. Let me see if I can get it out for you real quick. Look at that. It's just like the uh, other ones we've seen in the past, and it comes with four figures. The figures included in this four pack is going to be Shredder, a foot soldier, and then you also have Toka and Razar. Really cool figures. Your empire flourishes, Master Shredder. So here is the foot soldier. It's really cool. Comes with the uh, weapons, the ooze canister, stuff like that. We also have Super Shredder. I love this figure. I actually had one when I was a kid and I can't seem to find it. I don't know if it's at my parents' house or if it just got thrown out somehow. Um, I'm not really sure. Shredder could show up anytime, any place. If I had my old figure, I definitely would try to compare it. I do have my original Toka figure from when I was a kid, so I kind of compared them a little bit. This one looks like they used a darker paint. I don't have the belt or the weapons from my original figure. I did also buy the reissue Movie Turtles. I have those hanging on the wall. And of course, here's Rizar. I do have my original one. His head's kind of loose because I played with him pretty hard when I was a kid. That's why he's missing the uh, front little shield there. I don't have his weapons either. But you can kind of tell that the eyes on the reissued figure don't have like the black eyeliner like the original and the eyes are actually red which is interesting but it's fine i'm just happy that they reissued these so i don't have to pay hundreds of dollars per figure i can kind of get the nostalgic feeling you know just paying ten dollars per figure or with the four pack it was like fifty dollars with free shipping off amazon we're gonna move forward a little bit we're gonna get out of the 90s and go to the early 2000s with these ninja turtles right here One, two, three, four. Not only did they reissue the turtles from the 80s, but they also did the turtles from the 2000s. Look at that. There's Leonardo from the uh, 2003 Ninja Turtles. So in the early 2000s, I wasn't collecting any Ninja Turtle stuff. I was actually collecting a lot of Star Wars stuff. But when I saw these, they looked really cool. I love these cards and the artwork and stuff. And when I really looked at the turtles, I just totally dug it. Like they look really awesome. Now these actually came from Walmart and they were only $10 a piece, which I bet they probably could have charged like 15 to $20. And I think people would buy them because they are so freaking cool. Like I just totally love these turtles. So yeah, here's Michelangelo right here. Be sure to check your Walmart if you're looking for these. Again, they're only $10 a piece. And for the four of them, it's only $40. The last one, Donatello. But yeah, be sure to check Walmart stores before you go and pay a markup because it's just not worth it right now, not when they're hitting stores. I posted a video on TikTok. I got a lot of comments about these. A lot of Gen Zers actually collected these or played with these back in the day, which that makes sense. That was 2003. But how awesome is that, that these are over 20 years old and there's a whole nother generation collecting turtles. But wait, there's more turtles. I got a couple of these on clearance and I will show you which ones. Pizza Toss and Turtles. These are so freaking cool and I actually grabbed two of these because they were on clearance for $4. Normal retail at Walmart, they were $14.99, which I already bought three of them, I have the set. But yeah, this is the Pizza Toss and Leo. As you can see, it does advertise the four turtles, but we did not get a Donatello. We only got Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Here's Pizza Toss and Raphael. I didn't do that much research, but something happened with the uh, Donatello mold, which is why we didn't get the Donatello figure. I right, got a couple more figures left here. We have April O'Neil. You gotta love April. For some reason, I'll see a decent stock of some of the other figures. Like I might see a few Shredders. I've seen a few Bebop Rocksteadies, Leatherhead, you know, people buy them up though. Um, I've only seen one April in one store and I go to multiple Walmart stores. Um, I paid $10 for it. So when I saw it, I definitely just had to get it because I just don't see them anywhere. Like I've seen Genghis Frog and uh, Mondo Gecko at multiple stores. So I actually don't have those yet. I am looking for the Rat King and Baxter. April sure was mad. 
Oh well. But yeah, I also picked up Ray Filet. Check him out. I have seen a couple of these, but I really like this one, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I'm probably going to pick up the others if I catch them at Walmart. For some reason, some of these are just hard to find. I know it took me a while to find the uh, Foot Soldier. Um, he's on the back here. Yeah, that one right there. I know I had to go to a bunch of different stores and it probably took a couple weeks or something and I just didn't really see that many. But yeah, I don't know. The inventory for these is kind of strange. So here's some stuff that I picked up at Target. All right, so this is another clearance item. I don't collect these, but when I saw that this was only $5.99, I was like, oh man, I got to get Triceraton. This is too cool. And I really like the way the figure looks. He looks better then the uh, turtle versions in this line. So keep an eye out and scan these when you're at Target in case they're on clearance because it's definitely worth it on clearance because these are like $20 figures. Here's two of the figures I was on the hunt for over the weekend. Mutate and Bebop and Rocksteady. So I found these at Target. They are so freaking cool. Here's Rocksteady. They have a little window that opens up. I actually have the other four turtles. So I'm hoping to complete all these as they release them. And then here is Mutate and Bebop. Now I haven't seen any of these go on clearance. So I wouldn't suggest on waiting for that. If you see them, I would go ahead and buy them. They are $15. So they're more than the classic turtles. Those run about $10. But for some reason, Target charges like $11.99 for the turtles. Uh, Walmart's only $10 though. All right, so I've got my uh, other movie turtles right there on the wall. Leonardo, there's Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Now I had to get these at Walmart. They were $10 a piece. But the Evil Villains 4-pack that I hung up right here, that was off of Amazon, and it was $50. If you're wondering how I'm displaying these, I just use a tack. Very simple. It's just a thumbtack. Nothing special. These do not have cases or anything. I'm just hanging them up on their original cards. I think they're fine. And then I do have shelves for other stuff that doesn't have the hang tags, like this one right here, Man Ray put him on the shelf. See, these NECA figures do have the hang tags, but those will rip because these figures are just so freaking heavy. So I usually put these on a shelf. But yeah, here's some of my comic books right here. I do want to get this one graded. I haven't yet, but I have uh, issue number two, second print graded. And then I also have issue number four, first print graded. That is a 9.4 and number two is a 9.6. Pretty cool. All right, so there was some nostalgia for you. Like I said, be sure to check those Target and Walmarts. Make sure you don't pay markups on eBay because you might be able to find some inventory. It's not too hard. And if you have a Target that's maybe 30 or 40 minutes away that it's not your local Target, go ahead and check it out. There's about four Walmart stores that I check in my area, so it's not too bad. Maybe about 30 minute drive to some of them. I only have two Target stores that I check religiously. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Could we interest you in a subscription to Turtles Home Companion? I love you all, my son.